Hi guys, so we made out to the lease. Didn't do much recording. Baylor uh, tried to record an intro for y'all, but he forgot to turn the mic on. Uh, we got we got Shay in the back. Y'all can't really see him right now. And then Baylor's driving as of right now, but uh, we got here pretty late. It is 7.38, so we were not able to do a hunt, but we're gonna do a little spot and stock, walk around, uh, do stuff like that after we unpack, get our gun set up, get our bow set up, get ready for the morning, then we're gonna start walking around. I'm gonna try and record it. We'll see what happens. Usually I'm not the best at recording that type of stuff, but we're gonna get into it. It's gonna be a good episode. The weather's nice, a little cloudy, a little rainy, but tomorrow should be a lot better. Um, so we'll we'll see how it goes. We only got two hunts in really. I have it sitting at uh, stands and then a couple spot and stocks. So that's about it. So let's get into it. All right. Um, so it's the next morning. Last night, Colt went on a little spot and stock trying to get something. Uh, he was unsuccessful, but that's okay. Um, this morning, me and Cher are going to do a spot and stock. We're actually not even going to go to a feeder uh, before dark uh, or before light. But yeah, and Colt's going to go uh, do another spot and stock and hopefully we'll catch something moving around this morning. Uh, they'll probably be moving around a lot since it just rained out here, so yeah, we'll see. Okay guys, so it's currently 6.56. I'm walking to the feeder. It supposedly gets light at 7.30, but I can already see perfectly fine. And the feeders go off at 7. And I would have already been there, but I got lost. I went the wrong direction. So, we'll see, I don't even know if the camera can pick up what I'm seeing right now. So we might walk up on some animals, and we're taking the back road, thankfully. So we might be able to shoot something that's already eaten the corn. Not too sure. But... Hi guys. So, I'm getting tired of sitting around, so I decided to hook up my buy no harness and I'm gonna go and uh, start doing a spot and stock. I'm gonna get off this feeder and start walking around. There's a creek that runs through pretty much uh, a whole side of the property that I'm gonna walk across and uh, try and record as much of it as I can. I don't know it's gonna be a little bit more, it's gonna be difficult to record but since I got these GoPros it'll be a little easier so we'll see how it works and let's get into it. <laughs> I'm going to slowly start making my way. I think there's two or three. Hi guys. So I reached my final destination with no such luck. So I uh, decided I'm gonna keep walking. So I'm just taking a break real quick, just kind of taking some clothes off because it's getting hot. It's getting like 60 degrees. So we'll see. Shay shot a hog. They didn't send me pictures. They had the camera. Hopefully they were recording. I don't know. So we'll see. I'm gonna get back into it. Just take a little bit. Of, I was taking a break here, just just relaxing real quick before I get on my walk again. I think I've walked about three miles already. I don't know. I kept getting distracted and would walk off the course. But yeah, let's get into it, okay? And hopefully, she got that kill on camera. Hi guys, so got back from my spot and stock, or essentially what has happened, I got back from my spot and stock, I uh, didn't um, didn't see anything, it was pretty unlucky, but Shay shot a pig, didn't get on camera, 
So as uh, y'all uh, will see, Baylor record the aftermath of it, but he forgot to turn the mic on. And uh, so basically they were just showing a picture of the pig. I don't know what they were saying, who knows. Um, but we went and got some lunch and we come back, we uh, did some target practice at 20, 30, 40, 50 yards. And we went back to 100 and we're just shooting around just for fun. And then uh, it is about 2.30 right now, 2.40, and we're about to uh, head out to our spots, I think around 3.30, because the feeders go off at 4.30, because um, it gets dark at like 5.30, 5.45. Uh, so it'll be a quick little hunt uh, this evening, not too long, just about two hours. So that's, that's essentially what's been going on, uh, and I'm going to bring the big camera with us this time around. <laughs> so uh, let's get into it. You have anything to say, Mr. White? You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, I thought he had a, a G, a split, but he doesn't. It was just one. Guys, this deer has been following us all day. It's a good thing he wasn't there when we were shooting. <laughs> So it's 5.03. It's in the stand for about an hour. Mosquitoes are kind of bad. But, uh, had some deer and two doe and a buck. No hogs, though. So, that's okay. That is okay. How about? 30, 40 mi minutes left of light. Then I'll be doing some night hunting, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, guys. So the hunt is over. And uh, probably just going to scrap this video. Actually, I'm going to add it on to next week's. We're going hunting again. I'm going to add it on next week's, make it short. Right there at the end, there's a buck in the middle of the field. I don't know if I recorded any of that. I can't remember. But he kept looking up behind him, and I couldn't see. So I decided to kind of slowly stand up to see what it was. And it's a freaking bobcat walking across the food plot. By the time I get my gun, it's too late, and he's already gone. So that sucked. And uh, I then, you know, turned dark out. Couldn't see, but I'm still sitting there waiting, here for hogs, and I heard just a, a slight little sound. I looked down, like seven feet away from me. That bobcat was just right in front of me, making his way. And so I decide, I'm gonna try and shoot it. Right there's my bow. But every time I make the slightest movement, it would look at me. So I finally kind of fastened my pace. And it ran off. So that sucks. Only one pig down. I don't know. We're just going to add it on to next week. So we'll see what we get there. So once again, doing some kayak fishing. Haven't gone kayak fishing in a long, long time. So uh, just taking, going to, uh, just doing this for a couple hours till 2. It is currently 8.13. Got out here about an hour late. But guys, it is so calm. Uh, and so far no one else is out here, so that's pretty good signs. I always love that uh, But we're just gonna get right into it. That's basically what's gonna go on. So Let's get into it. And I hope you all enjoy Hi, right, good morning guys So, Made out on the water Finally all set up. I mean look how just absolutely calm it is behind me Absolutely amazing We're, we're gonna eat first Honestly, I'm hungry. So today, guys, basically what we're doing, we're not going to be using all my normal tackle I use. I'm going to be putting more focus on the mystery tackle box that I've been getting over this past year, but especially the last, you know, two months. Uh, the, um, 
November and December ones. And then also I bought some Guggen baits. Um, I'm gonna be trying out. So what I'm gonna first start off with is this little swim bait here. I don't know how it's gonna work. It looks super, super good, honestly. It feels good. It's got a little bit of a rattle to it and it sinks. So I think we'll just go and throw that out there. Who knows, we'll see. Um, and then so I'm gonna go on to this other cove because I've gotten some luck there before. So we're just gonna go and start fishing around, taking it slow, taking it easy. Um, just trying to figure out the fish because right now, I mean, I have no clue. There we go guys, we got one. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's a good size one. It's gonna come up. Dang it! He barely, look at that. <clears throat> he barely had that on there too. Dang it! He barely just munching on it. I had to work that really slow. I mean, super slow. Woo! Oh, well, guys. So far, no luck. It, uh, you know, is the super cold and finesse of the being cold here in Texas. The water was super cold. I think they're just being pushed down. The bait fish are being pushed down. And so it's super finesse fishing. I've only hooked on to like one or two fish. Um, just wasn't doing super well. And, you know, I checked the wind. You know everything was good. It was uh, goes. It was super low. You know the weather was fine. It was warmer this morning. But there was one thing I forgot to check. And that's freaking rain. Uh, uh oh. Why can you see this? So I forgot to check the rain, guys. So I went and and I called it quits for right now. My kayak's just sitting out there, getting all wet and stuff. I might start packing things up. I don't know yet. Uh, I'm gonna add this along to the hunting video. I know I talked about that other hunting video adding it to the one that's coming up, but I scratched those plans. Um, it'll just be a short fishing section, but uh, you know, I'm gonna take a lunch, see, see if the, the rain dies down. You know, I brought lunch expecting to be out here till you know two, two o'clock or so, um, and that just didn't happen. Uh, so I'm gonna eat lunch, I'm gonna edit a video for y'all, that hunting video, and then we're gonna see if the rain dies down. If it does and the sun comes out, then I might go fish again, but who knows, we might go uh, go and do something else. I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're just, we're, I'm just gonna bring you along though, okay? That's, that's about the best I can do as of right now.